Hey, there you are. And oh my God, what is happening? I've gotten mad, and now I'm getting even. Okay, look, sir, I know you're upset, but you need to stay calm and treat this like any other case. I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but now is not the time to go all John Wick. Who's that, a friend of yours? <sighs> I wish, but he's not a real person. He's a movie assassin that goes nuts when someone messes with his dog. Then call me John Wicks, because I'm about to go nuts. It's Wick, singular, and you already did go nuts. It cost us the trace, remember? Look, I need you to focus. The kidnapper texted his demands. How much does the bastard want for my little doggie? Oh, that's just it, he doesn't want money. He requested all the files we worked from May 2004. It's a lead. He's got to be connected to one of those cases somehow. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Mm. Grenades. Just please stop it. I'm going to take Kevin to the park where Cheddar was kidnapped and look for clues. I need you to stay here, go through those files, and put together a list of potential suspects. Can you do that? Okay, fine. I'll go through the files. Great. You realize I can't leave until you put the grenades back, right? Oh, but you'd let John Wicks have grenades. It's Wick. Singular. Just put him back. Peralta. There he is. What are you doing in my house? Raymond, you were mugged? What? What did you say to him? Captain, it's okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not embarrassed, and I wasn't mugged. Three men tried to mug me, but I fought them off, injuring two of them. <coughs> Wait, so you heroically fought off three guys, and that put you in a bad mood? If I did that, I would literally write a song about myself. It would be like, Jake the hero, abs of steel, sha-la-la-la. Why would you keep this from me? And why would you lie about going to fencing? Because he couldn't go. Because he's injured. I wasn't injured. I was lightly stabbed. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Lightly stabbed. Get out of the car! Young Jeezy, take the wheel! Freeze, punk! Yeah! Freeze, punk! Tina, when did you get that gun? Lost and found at the storage facility. They have boxes of them, they're everywhere. You wrong about Hope. That man has forgotten more about being a cop than you will ever know. In 1981, he caught the Disco Strangler. It's over, Disco Man. Put down the yo-yo and back away from the girl. Wow. The man is the real deal. You need to listen to him. It's Hames. Aha! Who's Hames? Colin Hames, the freestyle killer. He took out an entire 4 by 100 meter relay swim team in 1982. Marco! No, you say polo. Punk. The Freestyle Killer. Man, how come all the killers you caught had such cool names? The best name I ever brought in was Narrow Shoes Sam, because... His shoes were narrow and his name was Sam. I get it. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Looking for me? Nope, just taking my gun for a walk through the Nightmares factory. Nice try, Cobb. But you and I are going to have a little tea party. Am I invited? Drop the weapon. OK, Slayer. Prepare to go to jail for a long time. Now say punk. 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 I said it. So what's your plan here, Kingston? You gonna torture me? You gonna put my beard back on and rip it off again? No, I'm gonna cut off each one of your fingers until you tell me who the rat is. I see. Well, that's bad news because I don't know who the rat is and I need all my fingers if I'm gonna beat Wario. You can't beat Wario? You can? How do you do it? Well, it's simple. When he's approaching, you just tap the... Damn it! Motion detector. Wait, sorry, what do you tap? Get off. Let's go! Kingston! What do you tap? What do you tap? NYPD! NYPD! Split up! Cover the exits! He's not getting away! He took my dog! Oh my god, it's happening! Oh, I see you have a knife. But what you need is an umbrella. Tell him why. Tell him why! Because there's a Storm gonna rain down on you, punk. Oh my goodness. Ah! 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 Ah!
Buffy boy! He's done. Cuff him. Yes, sir. That was the single coolest thing that has ever happened. Relax, Peralta. That wasn't even the coolest thing I've ever done. What have you done that's cooler? It was the 80s. It was nothing. I mean, they made a movie out of it, but whatever. What? What movie? I don't remember the title. Uh, there was a crime on a plane. I was a passenger. Was that Passenger 57? I honestly don't know. It had to have been. Just say it was that. You know, Peralta, sometimes I don't understand the words coming out of your mouth. Oh, my God. Was it Rush Hour? What? No. You know what? I'm too old for this crap. It was Lethal Weapon? Sir, are you Murtaugh? Does that make me Riggs? I'm Riggs! Hey, Haynes. You're gonna spend the rest of your life in a little cement room doing nothing. And while you're in there, I'm gonna go for a swim. And after that swim, I might take another swim. And you'll just be sitting there on your metal toilet thinking of me, swim, swim, swimming, all day long. When I get out of lockup, I'm gonna hunt you down and kill you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, I'm looking at the captain. He's pacing slowly. For him, that's like a full-on rage-fueled freakout. Oh, the only thing worse is when he stands perfectly still. Oh, no, he's standing perfectly still. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. No, I'm not. Yep, I am. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I am. I'm gonna go. Okay, be careful. You're so brave. Thanks. Hey, Captain. What you thinking about? Mostly about how Madeline Wunsch will destroy me because you wanted a helicopter to play action movie. I needed a helicopter because I was chasing a bad guy because I'm a cop. Really, it wasn't just to make this case epic? This case is epic. You're just too wrapped up in the politics to see it. Sir, we're tracking a triple murderer who stole $21 million and all you can think about is Madeline Wunsch. You're right. What's that now? Before I came to the 9-9, I was rotting away behind a desk in the public relations department. All I wanted was the chance to do good police work again. I just got it, and I blew it, thinking about that devil toad. I'm tired of politics. Let's get that punk blood so. This is amazing. Of course, we have no idea where he is, but I love where your head's at. He has no family. Maybe there was a girlfriend or someone he worked with at the coffee shop. The coffee shop. Why would someone who knows they have $21 million coming take a minimum wage job? Because he needed access to that building. Because that's where the money's hidden. All right, we gotta get there quick. Maybe we should take the chopper. Oh, here's that chopper. Deathblade, Sidewinder, it's go time. Roger that, wet blanket. No, from now on, call me Velvet Thunder. Okay. All right, people. Your suspect's name is Ernest Zamowski, better known as the Disco Strangler. Take a close look. This is the most dangerous man in America. Five foot eight hunched over, 93 pounds, with gray hair and blue gray skin. If you encounter him, keep your distance. All due respect, sir. Seems like a lot of manpower to take down one sweet looking old man. Oh, he's sweet, all right. Sweet as poison pie. Yeah, don't underestimate him. I know 28 other people who did that, and they all have yo-yos swinging from their throats. So you were listening. Yeah, we were saying that all along. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, troops, traveling twos. Keep your eyes open, and for God's sake, protect the neck. <laughs> Freeze, NY. PD. Is that Raymond Holtz I see? Well, you haven't changed a bit. Neither have you, Ernest. What? Neither have you, Ernest. What? Neither have you, Ernest. Ugh, this is hard to watch. You're just as devious as ever. You seduced the van driver, didn't you? No, I seduced the van driver. She couldn't resist my groovy voodoo. And the yo-yo string was a message. The what was a what? The yo-yo string was... Captain, this is embarrassing. Can we just take him in? Yeah, you're right. This isn't what I had hoped for. Go ahead and cuff him. Gently. This isn't the last you hear from me, Raymond. I'm never gonna die. Sure you won't. Whatever makes you feel better. No, you're the punk. Just put him in the car.